Okay, so we have Flexbox now in DV5, but chances are you are using it wrong. For example, in this case, I have these four blurbs and I've used Flexbox to lay them out. But the problem is when we make our screen smaller, notice what happens. Now, this is not a very good user experience, and I'm sure you can agree with me that this is not how we're supposed to be using Flexbox. So in this video, I am going to show you the right way to use Flexbox. All right, so let's dive in. Now, before I get started with this tutorial, I'd like to say head over to dvuniversity.com and join the community over there. This is a community of DV users. And also, if you appreciate my work, you can support me by buying me a coffee uh, over here on the top right. So go ahead, dvuniversity.com. All right. So let's recreate this. I'm just going to delete this and then start all over again. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is to add a new um, column and we'll add a single column. But in this column, we are going to add blurbs. There we go. So if we duplicate this a few times, let's say four times, and you want to align them, you know, properly uh, in your uh, in your main section right here. What you would do, because of course we have Flexbox now, you would go into our main row settings here, go to the column, and then you want to come over here to advanced layout, and then you're going to change this like that. Now, it seems normal, like I've shown you um, in a few moments ago, but this is not the ideal way because even if you start changing the screen sizes here, you'll see that you have a problem. Now, the only way to fix this is to make it wrap, okay, like that. And then after making it wrap, you notice now we lose the ability of having four in a line unless we go into each and every single one of these and give it a percentage. Now, as you can imagine, you're designing a, a complete website. Is it, does it really work to go in and add a percentage every single time you want to have things laid out in a proper way? So one thing that you have to uh, understand when you use uh, Flexbox is Flexbox is good for alignment, lining things up, you know, the proper way. And to prove that to you, I want to show you what happens when we go into the column here. So here you can see you have so many options. You can align center, you can align it all the way to the right, you know, space apart, space between. So it's all about alignment direction and alignment. That's Flexbox. So the best way to achieve a layout that is pretty much perfect is to use grid. Now I know DV or DV5 does not have grid yet. So if you uh, someone that uses Sitecrafter Pro, which is our DV5 framework, then you can do this very, very easy. Let me show you how. So you'd come over here, go to equal column, and let's add our um, blurbs, just like how we did it before. So we're going to duplicate this a few times. Two, three, four. Okay. So just like before, we go into our column. But this time we go into advanced, CSS ID and classes. And this time we're going to say grid to activate this as a grid. And then we're going to say grid auto. Like that. Now, do you see what happened? This now has automatically just pretty much gone in place. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hit save and we are going to do a quick preview. Right, so in our preview now, if I, in fact, I'll need to right click and inspect, it's easier that way, okay? So if I start making my screen smaller by just dragging this, notice what happens. Everything just starts falling into place as soon as I hit the right um, screen size. Now notice that I didn't need to go in and do anything else, but I just used grid auto and this has fixed my layout. Isn't that cool? Okay, so let's do a, another quick example, which is a typical layout that you would find on a lot of websites. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna go to um, equal columns, but this time let's use group, okay? So in this group, we're gonna have a text module. We are going to duplicate this and add a button. There we go. So that's gonna be our first group. 
we are going to add another group by clicking here. And in this group, let's add an image like that. Okay, so let's go in, let's go ahead and add our image. So our image is going to be, um, let's go with maybe this pair of shoes, okay? Upload image, great. So now I can just tweak this a little bit. So let's go in, get rid of most of this text. And then over here on the advanced tab, I'm just gonna change this to text dash uppercase. Now, I know for some of you, you're probably saying, well, Mac, where's the drop downs? What's happening here? This is actually um, an update to SiteCrafter. So I've disabled the uh, drop downs for now, but they are going to be coming back in the actual version. All right. So over here, what we're going to do is we are going to again make uh, this text slightly bigger. So we're going to come to advanced CSS ID and classes, and then we're going to say, SK heading. Okay, so we need this to be an SK heading and we're going to go for XL. Okay, maybe you might even want it bigger than that. Okay, so let's go maybe 6 XL. Now, if you want, we can make it bold, whatever it is, but I'm going to keep things very, very simple here. All right, so now it's time to uh, make sure I align things properly. So again, if I come over here to row settings and I go into my column here, design, layout, I could go with Flexbox and that would work fine, you know, but already I can see that these are not equal sizes, okay? That's because, you know, Flexbox, again, is for aligning things. So now when I, let's say, save this and I review, okay? If I start making this smaller, notice what happens. Okay, that may not be ideally what we need. So what you're going to do here is instead of having Flexbox, we're going to change that. Okay, back to how it was before. This is the default position. So what we want to do is to come over here to advanced CSS ID and classes. And I'm going to say grid and then say grid dash auto. Okay, it may seem like it's a similar thing, but if you look closer, you're going to notice that these are equal sizes, okay? Equal sizes. Uh, maybe we may want to uh, get rid of a bit of text here as well. That may be a bit too much. Okay, so let's save this. Now, when I come over here and refresh, you notice that, you know, we still have the layout but now when I start getting smaller and smaller, it's gonna snap. You see that? Now the image is on the bottom and everything is aligned properly, okay? So that is the difference between grid and Flexbox. And this is the right way to lay out pretty much everything on your screen. Anyway, um, I have a course called uh, DV Mastery, uh, DV5 Mastery. If you want to learn how to use DV the proper way, like a pro, as you know, DV has changed their whole interface and how it works. It's gone a bit more advanced. I have a course that normally goes for 40, $47. But if you purchase it now, it is only going for $27. It's a special uh, discount and it's for a limited, a limited time only because uh, I'm still adding quite a lot of lessons onto it. So this is just a quick um, uh, offer. The link to that will be in the video description below. Go ahead and check it out. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next one. Take care.